day going so far? Mine is going pretty well. I didn't go to church today, but I'm okay. I'm not in pain or anything. Um, today I'm fixing a pizza in my Hamilton Beach Pizza Maker. Is that the name of it? I think it is. And it's a new pizza I found in Walmart. It's authentic. Motor City Pizza Company. So you know Motor City is in Detroit. Oh, it's supposed to say Detroit style deep dish pizza. Never saw it before, never tried it before. And it comes with a pan for a crispy crust, but I'm putting it in my pizza maker. You saw y'all see all these dishes piled up here? They're clean. Don't see how long they're gonna stay. I ain't touching them. Even though I do have a whisk here. And that's mine. Plug this in. And with stuff that opens like that, I have put it well away from my cabinet. Else it won't work. It won't open. I don't want to use the pan. Oh, look at that. And it's been in my refrigerator for a day and a half. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, it smells good through the box. Hope this will fit. By it being square, I don't want to put it in the real oven. I didn't even know it was square. Okay, let me open this. Take the cellophane off. Let me cut this off till I get this pizza off. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm cutting these edges off with some scissors. My kitchen shears. Scrape the stuff off the edge. My hands are clean, y'all. A lot of cheese on the okay. Like I said, it's been in the refrigerator, so it's thawed out. You're not supposed to let frozen pizza thaw out, You're supposed to keep them frozen until ready to cook. Okay, close it, close this nicely. It's on set on number five, that's the highest setting. Turn it on. We'll turn it for 20 minutes. And you can see it's spinning around. So, uh, I'm not gonna find this meatball out. It fell on the floor. Put so somebody step on it. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, this is how the pizza is looking. I've just put five more minutes on there, and it's smoking. A little steam. So I'm standing close. I don't want nothing to catch on fire. It never has, but I don't trust everything. It smells amazing. This is how I do my boxes. Like my frozen pizza boxes. I keep the box, I put away that tray, and I just cut it, so I can just put the pizza in here, and slice it right inside of this box. I'll show you how it looks. When I open it, the steam that's coming out here is going to be hot. Let me put on a glove. Look at that, y'all. A few more minutes. 
I don't want the crust to be crisp. Let me see, it says you can test it with a meat thermometer to make sure everything is done. Let me see. Temperature should be 165 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to check it. But I still want a crispy crust. This has a top and a bottom heating element. And when I buy deep dish pizzas, I have to make sure the food doesn't touch this top heating element. I'm trying not to burn myself. See, there's a heating element under there. See there? Oh, that's well. Check it now. Where's that? without going through to the bottom. 212, let me put it somewhere else. It's over 200. So it can clean for the next time I use it. Just rinse off the probe. So it's done. Let me check the crust. I have it on a uh, silicone baking mat. Oh, it's nice and brown. So I suppose it's done, yeah. Let me lift it out. So like I said I need a pizza peel paddle thingy. I think I'll put that in my wish list. Got a wish list. how the mat looks like and I just have to wipe it off with a paper towel. Very nice. Unplugging this. It's going to keep dinging until it goes to off. Okay. And the uh, cheese that melted around the sides of it, of course it burnt. Oh, it sounds crispy. I don't know how the center is going to be. Let's see what I'm doing. I hear that crispy crust. Got everything on pepperoni, sausage, onions, bell pepper. What else? You usually don't buy pizza with onion, but just had it on here. Slices. 
There it goes. Went off by itself. I said I wasn't going to get those dishes. I, I got tired of seeing all these dishes piled up here. I want, I like sausage. Amber likes pepperoni. And Walter likes the crust. He picks all this stuff off. Get that off of there. That's tomato. That tomato no, is a red bell pepper. Okay, I want that piece. Okay, that's good. I want all my meat. I didn't find that sausage that fell on the floor. So, I didn't put nothing else on the pizza. Sometimes pizzas need to be doctored up. So I didn't do nothing. I was going to taste the uh, meat. Sausage is good. The pizza too hot, yeah. Taste the sauce. Taste again. Pepperoni. It's good, and I don't even like pepperoni that much. Mm. Ooh. So crust got um, brown, and it's crisp. Okay, I'm about to drop my food, trying to show y'all. And I'll be mad at y'all. Nice and crispy. I want to bite the pizza. Tastes good. Need some black pepper. <laughs> this is good pizza. If I see it again, I'll buy it again. Got it from Walmart. Something brand new at Walmart. Mm. Bell pepper. Mm. This is good. It's good. I will buy it again. Motor City Pizza Company. It wasn't over six dollars. It was five eighty-eight or something like that. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. You all have a blessed day. Go get your praise on, even though I didn't. But I can do that at home today. Okay. Bye, y'all.